Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 11 of Civilization 6. We are still at war with Canada, but not for much longer. I think we're about one turn away from taking them out completely. So without further ado, let's go ahead and work on that. Yeah, they're going for the field cannon. I don't have any melee units close enough to take it, which is the problem right now. I am trying to get closer. Uh, I really don't want to embark with a melee unit to get there. Yeah, it's really hard trying to get through with um, units. So let's go ahead and... I think this bombard on its own can do enough damage to take out the city defences. Let's move this bombard out of the way. Uh, we will continue to attack with all of the other guns that can reach it because we still get XP from it. Well, not when it doesn't have any health left, but it's down to zero. Um, so we'll wait there. We've just got to get this guy in. Uh, we're healing up the other stuff. You've got a promotion, actually. Um, so let's go for that one. Um, so I should probably get ready to start moving stuff. We will have at least one turn. Yeah, battle cry is pretty useful. We will have at least one turn of, or a couple of turns of actually getting our health back up on all of these uh, units. What we'll need to do after we take Canada out is decide who we're going to hit next because the problem that you have is any territory that you take, you if you're going for a domination victory, any territory that you take, you will have to defend. And the only way around that really is to wipe people out as you go. Now that's problematic because it takes a terribly long time and it also means that you end up with a lot of amenity problems because your empire is so big you also end up with a lot of grievances because you're taking so many cities so it sometimes it's worthwhile thinking about well you know who who is so weak that they wouldn't necessarily be able to retaliate we also want to make sure we leave some people to trade with not necessarily trade but at least send trade routes um so maybe I leave Genghis Khan until last anyway because he got Genghis Kublai Khan because he is friendly right now. We could go after everybody else. Um, the Gaul actually have a reasonably coastal uh, city over here. Um, it, it's not right on the coast, which means we wouldn't be able to take it by sea. We would need to send some melee units over there. And they do have an encampment. That, that's actually quite well defended because wherever we land either side, we get bombarded by two cities or one city in the encampment. So that's actually quite a good spot to be in. Building up our navy is definitely something that we need to do. And I also want to go ahead and get another city over here. Which is something that I am going to do right now. This will be the last city that I build or buy or whatever. So I'm just going to straight up buy that settler because obviously Magnus stops the... Uh, stops the camp from going down. So who do we go for? Where are Where is everybody's capital? Can we see everybody's capital? Um, I'm not sure we can. I'm also going to be playing for uh, a science victory as a backup, just in case, because you never know. Uh, yeah, can't see where everybody else is. We've still got time, though, I think. So I'm not necessarily concerned. I mean, we are going to have to like embark to go anywhere. That's for sure. Uh, I just don't know where yet. I mean, we can certainly start moving some stuff out to the coast, but I don't think I want to do it just yet. So for now, let's go ahead and just skip turns or fortify with everybody. We'll concentrate on moving them later. Uh, where we can pick up promotions on stuff, we will. And this is why this war has been so good. Because we've managed... Well, he's, he, he, he's took out a... Uh, a cavalry and the first thing he's decided to do with that is use it to attack our encampment that's a little bit weird um we'll finish him off with um let's finish him off with this gun because this one can still stand to get some xp that didn't actually finish him off um, i'm gonna attack him with the bombards because i just want more promotions on the bombards this one has a promotion uh, you're at zero zero. You can't recover anyway. So let's promote that bombard. And then we'll move in and swap with you. And there we go. On the next turn, uh, that is ours. So we'll heal up with everything else. Somebody has built Oxford University. Damn it, I wanted that. So we're not getting that. Uh, there are some wonders that I would like to get. So we will work on that where we can. 
yeah, there's no point doing that. You're just going to fortify and heal up. Yep, everybody else just fortify until this war is over. And then we need to work out where we're going from that. There's our settler. You're going to get yourself over here. It is technically next to a river, so it's fresh water as well. We're working on Terracotta Army at the moment. There's six turns left on that. I think we'll be all right with that. There's the now. Now, I don't want to upgrade this one because it does have one build left for a Fatora. And, yeah, for some reason, you cannot... Well, once you've got the upgrade to Ironclads, you cannot build Faturas anymore, which I always thought was a little bit, like, not fair. If it's a unique unit, you should still be able to build it or at least allow the Ironclad to still build the Faturas, which it can't. So that's a bit sad, but I'm going to leave this here. And I'm not going to promote it, not yet. We'll wait until we can... Um, we need Namadol's borders to expand, or Zanzibar's. Either would work. But neither of that, neither of those appears to be happening yet. We do need to get some more ships, definitely. We've got a lot of money coming in, like 600 gold a turn. So we could buy them. Um, I'm not going to take this peace deal. I mean, I could leave them, but quite frankly, what's the point? Especially because the one city they have is going to flip anyway. Economics is a subject that does not greatly respect one's wishes. There's corporations. I mean, I, nationalism, which nationalism is done. I could just leave them to leave their last city and leave them to flip. Um, production towards newer units. The loyalty per turn's not an issue right now. Are we going to be building newer units? I, I don't know. I think we just stick everything as we've we've got it right now. I'm not sure anything here is going to benefit me too much more than we already have. Yeah, it's not all that great. Just trying to have a look to see if there's anyone towards building. Yeah, naval units, industrial and earlier naval units. I mean, that's not... I mean, I could just go and buy them all, but that's not a bad thing. Anyway, you should. Yeah, you're still on zero zero, so we just go straight in, and that's the end of Canada. Yeah. Okay. So there's Canada gone, and five era score for that as well. Obviously, we have to keep the city. Oh no, we don't, because it's not their original capital. No, of course, it's not. Their original capital was. Um, what was their original capital? Uh, Ottawa was their original capital. Uh, so we have everything now. They are now gone. It's like, you are gone. Bye-bye. Um, I don't think I necessarily need to get Amani now, so I might just carry on. I think Victor... Um, I mean, he, he is more... He does nuclear armament projects, though. Yeah, let's let's go for Victor. I mean, he could be useful for defending a city that we take. Um, so it's probably worthwhile having him for that. Uh, new research. Let's go for sanitation. I mean, we could actually go replaceable parts and get infantry, which might not be a bad option. I don't think uh, housing is our issue, issue. It's amenities right now. So let's go replaceable parts. Uh, for civics, we could get neighborhoods, uh, scorched earth, Yields gain from pillaging, plundering, or plundering trade routes. Nothing here that's, like, really urgent for us. I don't think so, anyway. Let's go for urbanization. I mean, we've already got the uh, boost to it. So let's do all the usual stuff of repairing everything. We do need to get some spies. Right, now let's decide who we're going to attack. So the problem that I've got here is I don't really have too many places where I can easily get to. Gaul is probably the one I'm most likely to be able to, to get. Although he doesn't hate me right now. Marley's the one that I really want to get. And he's somewhere over here in this, this fog of war. It might be worth... Um, do I still have a... I'm betting I don't. I can't remember. How do you get the unit list up now? 
Click here. There we go. Do we still have anywhere a scout? No. It might be worth me getting a scout and just sending him through their territory just to have a look. Well, it wouldn't be a scout these days, but it would be a skirmisher. Let's get a skirmisher, and I'm going to just run him down there and have a look. We need to know what we're dealing with. So, again, we could actually form some cores on, on these units, but I'm just going to have them all sit around uh, still for now. Now, this is the point where we're going to start getting denounced by a lot of people because of all the grievances we have, but, you know, whatever. It it doesn't really matter to me. Marley's denouncing me. That's fine. Gaul hasn't denounced me yet, so I might just sort of leave him until last for that reason. You've got a promotion. Tortoise, definitely useful because we're using you to capture stuff. Uh, now we've got an increased trade route capacity as well. Yeah, amenities are a big problem, so we do start. We do need entertainment complexes and stuff like that. Yeah, let's just keep all of these units together. I mean, certainly we could, um, where we've got some promotions, like merge some stuff together. But I think what we might do is just straight up, because all of these have got promotions on. And we're five turns away from getting the Terracotta Army, which means they will all get an extra promotion. So what I might do is just leave them and then we'll build them up into we'll build everything up into a core before we go anywhere. That's probably the the best thing to do right now. So I want you to embark a trade route over here. Obviously we don't want to send anything to Mali if we can help it. We were going there. Uh, that still looks like the best one by uh, a long shot. Yes, just have your borders expand somewhere where I can build just like one tile there or there. Or there. Uh, well, I don't think that one would count because it's on top of the pearls. Um, or this one. Or this one. Just just do something. Just expand. Just let, let me get in there and take it. And uh, yeah, build up the navy. Get some wonders. Make sure we stay ahead in science. One of the reasons why I want to pick on Mali as well is because at the moment, or at least last time I checked... Yeah, he's still leading in terms of tech. I am getting more science per turn than him. So the chances are that I will catch up and overtake. Uh, I'm also leading a diplomatic victory, weirdly enough. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to make sure he doesn't beat me on a science victory if all goes wrong. So everybody else just sort of pause up, take a breath. I need to have some sort of place where I'm going to mass my army. Somewhere I can say, well, this, this is where the army gets built. Uh, we need spies. Um, we probably need... Th well, I could just buy that factory, couldn't I? Do I need any of this other stuff? Ferris wheel. Yes. Um, I mean, the amenities aren't needed here, but the amenities can go somewhere else. We can just buy that again as well, to be fair. Um, yeah, none of those things are really needed. Let's start working on a spy, but I think I will... Oh, we can purchase... Well, let's purchase the factory. Let's just get a load of purchases done in here because we can... Oop, we can actually make some some good stuff. We can we can get the Ferris wheel. And, yeah, I've still got a lot of money. We'll get the stock exchange. We need another trader. You need to fix a load of stuff. Um, yeah, so work on the granary for now. Okay, so let's start getting you over and down into this sand. We do have open borders, so we can just cut through uh, and um, hopefully have a look and, and find where things are. He suddenly seems like he's happy with us for whatever reason. Not sure why. He won't be re reasonably soon. Yeah, so let's just keep getting you down here. Okay, choose production. Again, getting things like the zoos is probably going to be the most useful things for us. We still need some builders. Um, you don't have a lot of things. You've got amenity problems. You should probably get an entertainment complex. Let's get one there. 
It'll do for now. Um, I would like to build all of this stuff for sure, but let's get the navigation school. We are having a lot of growth problems. Some suzerain status is lost. Uh, so there's the modern era. Take better care of so our there's replaceable team. parts. Uh, let's wait until we get urbanization. And then we can swap to um, the thing that lets us upgrade our army more cheaply. First technology of a new era. Lots of declarations of war. There shouldn't be any for me here. Wonder completed. Not one that I'm working on. Various tech boosts. Uh, so where are we in terms of... Yep. Yeah, one turn for Terracotta Army. Excellent. Um, so what do we want here? Let's get... Um, let's get Sanitation. And over here... In St. John... You don't have amenity problems. Everything you build is going to be relatively slow. So let's get the monument first. Let's repair that water mill. Okay, carry on moving this way with you. We, we, can, we can scout out the Gauls' territory anyway, because we want to do that. There were seven wonders in the world. Right, well, there's the Terracotta the Army built. So now all of our units get a promotion. Of urban and we can change our policies so we can quickly... We're not building any naval era units at the moment. But we can switch this to um, force modernization. So that'll make it cheaper to upgrade everything. So let's go through all these promotions. So... Um, Yep, give you Arrow Storm. Um, give you Battle Cry. I know going down two different trees either side isn't all that useful because it takes you longer to get to the one at the bottom tree because you need... You, well, you, you can get to the one at the bottom of the tree in like three promotions. So what one, two, three promotions, bottom of the tree. One, two, three promotions, bottom of the tree. Um, you can go either way. Uh, but obviously, if you split them here, then it takes a bit longer. But I don't mind. I, I tend to pick just whatever works better for me. Um, like this one. I wanted the movement. We've already got plus one sight, sight range from being Portugal anyway. Uh, but I think combat strength against naval units is going to be more useful for it in the long run. So that's why I, I picked that. Pike and shot, you're pretty useless. Um, so we'll just work on that. Yeah, let's go through all of these. There's quite a few units, so it will take a while. Um, what I'll do with you is I'll move you um, all the way down here so you've got one movement left. Then I'll give you the promotion. Um, I'm going to assume they've probably chopped a lot of the wood, so there's probably more hills than wood, so we'll give him that promotion. Uh, that's right, we're still going through these. So you can have can attack after moving. That's very, very useful on bombards. Um, yep, can attack after moving. You are going to get... Uh, let's give you Amphibious. It doesn't hugely matter. Um, let's give you Tortoise. I, I mostly use the melee units for capturing cities. Attack after moving. Won't be much of a difference once they get upgraded. Let's yep, give you Shells. Yeah, Terracotta Army is such a brilliant one. Um, expert Marksman on the Field Cannon. Uh, you're almost completely maxed out in Promotions. Yeah, sure. Arrow Storm. Oh, we've still got more left. Wow. Um, volley. The Ironclad gets a promotion as well. That's it. All the promotions done, finally. So now what I can do now I've got all these promotions is I can start making new units to um, start getting ourselves some uh, cores. So over here where nothing is being built... To be fair, we probably just want to build some of this stuff. Which I think is what I'm going to do. Um, let's get an entertainment complex because you do have amenity issues. Let's build it over here. It's not a great tile, but it'll be close to Halifax as well. And then while we have some money... Actually, before we do that, uh, we want to upgrade... Is it not our musketman that we can upgrade? Oh, we just can't do it on this turn. That's fine. Um... We'll do it on the next turn when we've got some more money coming in. That's all right, then. Let's do Scorched Earth because it's almost... Uh, it's already boosted. 
Um, you could do with some power. You don't have amenity problems right now. You don't have housing. Well, you don't have any spare amenities. That's true. An entertainment complex wouldn't be a bad idea. I think the more of those we can get, the better, probably. Um, who owns this tile? I'd like to know, is it you? Um, yeah, you don't have any amenities. Yeah, somebody owns that. I can't get that tile for some reason. Is it too far away? No, this one. I want you to have that tile. There you go. And then I want you to build an entertainment complex there. And that'll kind of work for those three cities. Or at least it should do. That's the plan that I'm going for. Um... We've captured an Ethiopian spy. That's a point. We need to get spies of our own. Especially if I do find Mali's capital. Another meteor shower. Not too close to me. Fire. Not too close to me. So we've got that spy. Excellent. Choose production. Halifax. Um, I mean, you probably don't need walls that far into my territory. Again, you do have amenity problems. Let's work on that bank. It'll take a while, but it'll pay for itself. Uh, where were you trading? Zanzibar, look at that, 40.5. And that's before we've even um, done an upgrade on that. Uh, okay, so now we can get you in over here. Start finding a few city-states. We might struggle, like, walking through the territory. I might have been better off just going all the way around, but I want to have a look and see what he's got. We haven't really revealed much of the map on land. All of what we've revealed has been in the ocean. So let's have a look where we can. These guys are very close to one another as well. Um, so what I wanted to do, yeah, you've arrived where you were supposed to, so you can settle there. Three more era score, get rid of that. Uh, and you are going to start instant work on the monument, I suppose. Doesn't help our amenities at all. Uh, but now, no, it's not the musketman that we can upgrade. Why can't I upgrade the musketman? We got infantry, right? Have I missed something? Um, so we have infantry. Uh, infantry upgrades from line infantry, red coat. So I need line infantry. Musketman upgrade to line infantry. That's a little bit weird. So you can actually skip. Um, line infantry out on the tech tree, but then you need them to upgrade to infantry. Um, well, we'll sort that out in another turn then. We'll, we'll keep saving up the money. Apart we'll get the sanitation. there's sanitation done. So, where's line infantry there? Military service. So, let's go ahead and get that. As much as I'd like chemistry for the research labs, this will be fairly quick. Uh, housing problems here, so let's go and get a sewer. And uh, we have ourselves a spy. Uh, let's go and spy on Marnie. Might as well. I probably need a defense. I must have a defensive spy, actually. Was that a defensive spy that I just moved out? I probably should get another one. Um, where's my list of spies? Uh, espionage. Yeah, I've only got one spy. Need a, need another. I think sometimes you just do catch people automatically, even without having a counter spy. War is hell. So there's scorched earth done. Don't really need any of these right now, so we'll leave that as is. It might be nice going mass media. Get Cristo de Redento. I mean, I'm not going for a, a tourism victory, but. It's nice either way. Leve on mass is also nice. Could save me some money. Let's go for mobile uh, mobilization. We'll have three cores very soon. So that's not a problem. Um, who do we lose suzerain status with? You, because you're yeah. We want Zanzibar to stay our suzerain. 
Um, and if we get any more, we want to try and get some extra science. Right, I do have open borders with you, uh, which is useful. Try and find where your capital is at. Um, Gaul don't look as strong as I thought they were because they're kind of sandwiched right next to Mali. I think they've not got as many cities as it looks like they have, which might make life easier. Um, you are only one below the housing cap, and you've got plus one amenities. You're going to need a, you're going to need lots of stuff basically. Uh, we have trade route here again zanzibar is absolutely the best let's move you through yeah we're gonna have to sort of go down here somewhere i'm not sure if we can get around we'll 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 certainly have a look but that's the end of the turn so i'm going to end the video there thanks a lot for watching i hope you are still enjoying civilization 6 if you are as always please do consider leaving a like on the video because it really helps and i will see you next time until then goodbye for now